Welcome to the Sun River Anglers Fly Tying Corner for this month. I'm going to tie a Wally Wing Calabatus. Um, in tying this pattern, I think you'll learn some different and some new techniques for using materials. And I think you'll enjoy it. This fly uh, really celebrates the art of fly tying and I think is just a beautiful pattern. The Wally Wings are very unique in the way that they're tied. So give this pattern a try. I think you'll enjoy tying it and I think it's going to prove to be a very effective pattern for the Calabatus hatches on our local Central Oregon lakes. So I tie several different versions of this pattern. I'll tie it with a split tail or I'll tie it with um, a Coque de Leon tail, or I'll also use um, biots for the body, and sometimes I can dub the body. Lastly, for the hackle, I can use a couple of different techniques here. I can tie it full like you see in the picture, or I can clip the bottom of that hackle to lay it, let it lay real low in the water column on the lake that I'll be fishing. Or I can even substitute uh, CDC for the hackle and tie it completely differently from this example. Um, give the various alternatives a try. I, I think you'll like each and every one of them. So let me cover the materials one by one. For a hook, I'm going to use a Firehole 419 size 14. This is a standard dry fly hook, and it's a competition barbless hook that I like a lot. For the thread, I'm going to use a Viva 16 knot, and I'll use either gray or black in, uh, for this pattern. For the tail, I'm going to either use Coque de Leon barbs and tie them in as a single tail, or I'll use micro five bats and I'll split the tail. It's your choice. Both make an excellent pattern. For the abdomen, I'm going to take a barb off a turkey feather or a biot off a turkey feather, but I'm going to take this off the trailing edge rather than the leading edge, which allows me to tie in the feather in a little tighter segmentation. For the wing, I'm going to use a Whiting Guinea Saddle um, hackle and I, I, I'm going to tie this on in a very unique fashion so watch carefully in the video as I describe how we're tying this Wally Wing. For the thorax, I'm going to tie in some dubbing and I'll use about 75% um, Calabatus Superfine and I'll use uh, just a skosh of Calabatus Ice Dub or UV Ice Dub and I'll blend the two together and dub that in the uh, thorax area of this pattern. And lastly for the hackle I'm using a Whiting Dry Fly Saddle and this uh, color is unique variant. It's got a lot of different characteristics to it. And you'll note that I'm going to strip about half the barbs off this feather on one side and tie it in using only the barbs on the opposing side of the feather. So watch this technique as I go. So let's get started in tying the Wally Wing Calabatus. I'm going to start my thread right at the two-thirds point of the hook where I'm going to tie the wing on. So next I've taken a nice broad guinea hackle and I'm going to prepare this hackle to tie on the fly. I've stripped off all the fluff, just leaving the good barbs that I want to tie with. So then I'm going to kind of stroke back a series of the barbs um, back toward the empty stem. And I want to choose about the length of the abdomen of this fly, 
plus or minus a little bit and I'll stroke those back and then I'm going to fold them very tightly um, as you can see in the video. So next I'm going to turn it shiny side up and I'm going to stroke those fibers backward and I'll go ahead and proportion just the amount that I need for the wing and I'll tie this on with a very sharp uh, pinch. Uh, I'm going to bring that thread up in between my fingers and and straight down so that I drive those fibers straight down and don't let them roll on the hook. And I'll tie that off and clip off the excess. So from here I'm going to grab about three or four fibers from that front tuft that's hanging off the, the wing. And I'm going to pull those backwards and basically strip them all the way down to the hook point where I've tied that off. And that pulls back and creates the Wally wing. I'll do it on the near wing first and then I'll grab three or four fire fibers on the far wing and I'll pull those backwards to create the far Wally wing. And then I'll clip off the little tips right at the at the point where in, it enjoins the uh, tip of the wing on both sides. And then I'll clip off the uh, stem of the guinea and tie over that and then I'll, I'll make a number of wraps right in front of this wing to set that wing upright and um, ultimately we'll put a wrap in between a figure eight wrap in between the wings to go ahead and separate them and a few more wraps in front to set that wing straight upright and that's your finished Wally wing. So let me rotate the vise so you can see how these wings look from all sides. It's really a beautiful wing and the speckling of the guinea really matches a Calabatus mayfly. So next I'm going to tie in the tail. So I need some fibers off my Whiting Coque de Leon um, saddle hackle and I'm going to go ahead and measure these out, clip off the butts, and then I'll begin to tie them in to create the tail. So I'll tie several wraps over this tail back to the tail set position, and then I like to come with one wrap underneath the tail and kind of pull that laterally to spread that tail out just a little bit to uh, create the broader uh, flotation from this material. Next, I'm going to pull a barb off my a turkey wing feather and I use the trailing edge rather than the leading edge um, for tying in the biot on the abdomen of this fly. The reason for that is it's a narrower um, barb than the leading edge so I can get more wraps out of it and get a real fine segmentation out of this um, uh, turkey barb. I like to coat the uh, thread wraps before I tie in this barb with just a little bit of glue. It adds a lot of strength to this fly. The barb otherwise is vulnerable to being broken by trout teeth. So let me attach my hackle pliers to the this uh, turkey barb and wind it very gently forward all the way up to the base of the Wally wing.
So next I'm going to select out a saddle hackle from my whiting unique variant. And you can see the coloration on this hackle feather is just beautiful. So I'll take that feather and I'm going to actually strip off the bottom side of the feather so that as I wrap it dry fly style only the top barbs are um, being tied on because I've eliminated the bottom. This creates a very neat hackle. Um, none of the barbs tend to fly away on you as you're tying it in and uh, I like the technique. So before I wind the hackle, I'm going to go ahead and dub the underside of the thorax on this pattern. It creates a little bit of a landing area for the hackle. It creates some area where that hackle can grab and seat nicely as you tie it in. And plus it eliminates any um, black coloration from this thread underneath the thorax area. And so I'll take my dubbing blend, spin it onto the thread, and wind that forward all the way up to the head area of the pattern. And I'll immediately start winding my hackle forward. I'll take four or five wraps behind the wing, and then four or five wraps in front of the wing, and then I'll capture just the stem as I tie off the hackle right at the head. And you can see I wind very tightly one wrap right behind that wing and then one wrap very tightly in front of the wing. And that helps seat that wing permanently so it won't move and sets it straight upright like I like on this classic dry fly. So I'll clip off the excess um, hackle from the head of this fly and then I'll drop straight into a whip finish and I'll whip finish and finalize this Wally Wing Calibatus. So the very last thing I'd like to do is let me spin this fly around in my vise so you can get a full perspective on the Wally Wing Calibatus. It's really a beautiful fly that celebrates the art of fly tying. So if you like the fly to float a little lower in the water column, um, go ahead and clip off the bottom of the hackle and you can see in this example I've done just that and it'll really float low on the water and just be an excellent Calibatus imitation. Give this fly a try, I think you'll like it. So that has been your Sun River Anglers Fly Tying Corner for this month. I hope you've enjoyed tying the Wally Wing Calibatus and will give this fly a try. If you like what you see, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching.